Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to go over the topic of adding your logo to your receipt as well as other documents but mainly people want to see it on their receipt so we'll just focus on that today and it's going to be pretty quick and easy as long as you have a logo file that's either a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, whatever type of picture file you have for your logo you just make sure that's on your computer before attempting to do this. So before we jump into it, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below. That's going to get you over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. I think you should join up there so you can ask specific questions or talk about uh, what other problems you're having with QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have an excellent community of Point of Sale users over there using the exact same program you are and they would be happy to answer your questions and chime in as well as myself and if you're on youtube today go ahead and hit subscribe so you get all the latest greatest quickbooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time all right let's do this i have my point of sale here i do not currently have uh, a receipt with a logo on it i guess we could just check that out real quick you know if i do a beeswax candle and I take cash and I hit save and I print then the preview you can see I do not have a logo so cancel all right let's get that logo situated then go on the file menu head on down to preferences and company you may have thought this would be in the setup interview because that's where some of the rest of your receipt information lies when you put it in at first but that same exact information is also going to be under store info in your general settings. So here's that info that we have for our receipt, whatever information you have for your store. And right below that, it's going to say logo. Use image as default logo. You're going to put a check mark there. Uh, in the past, I've already added this file, but I'm just going to walk through doing it with you as well. So once this pops up, you're probably going to have, it's just going to be blank for you. Uh, it's it's gonna want a file that's less than a hundred kilobytes so we're gonna want to check that out I'm gonna hit the add button here it's gonna bring up a file browser and if you have you know your logo is sitting in the pictures folder or you're, you're gonna want to place it somewhere on your computer where it can stay for a while you know and so I just have mine in a special spot with a lot of my other logo files that I use for different things uh, I think I used my LinkedIn logo for this and we can see that that is 44 kilobytes so if yours is larger than that you're gonna want to use kind of like a photo or a paint program uh, for making it smaller and if, if you can't figure that out then I don't know you might need to either enlist uh, a youngsters help or go ahead you can head on Fiverr and you can hire somebody to do that for probably like five bucks for you. All right. So if you find it and you add it, uh, it's telling me it already exists. And so you would just hit open and then it would end up here like this, like I have it now. And I'm just going to hit select and I'm going to say, yes, use this image as the default logo. You can see it really huge here. Uh, it's probably because my screen's so big, but I'm going to hit save and the next time i check somebody out for some big dumb boots and i take cash and i hit save and i save and print so i'm printing out their receipt we can see now that i have a wonderful logo on my receipt and you should too now that you've followed along and you've gone through and you've added it if this was helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button down below because i love my likes and if you have a question or a comment you can leave that as well or we'll see you over in the facebook group and we will enjoy your company there you have a stupendous day bye bye now